guys. This is Benji Johnson with Earth Tones Recording Studio. And today, you're watching Five Things That I Like. Today, we're checking out the Fader Port 8 by Presonus. So first off, let me say, I am brand new to the control surface game. I've been a keyboard and mouse guy for 18 years, have refused to spend money on what I call a glorified mouse. Well, the Fader Port 8 is far from that. Let me show you five things that I like about it. The first thing that I like about the Fader Port 8, it has a transport section. Yeah, I know, they all have transport sections, but this one's really cool because green means go. Yellow means stop, red means record arm, and then it flashes. You unarm it and it doesn't flash. You have fast forward, you have scroll backwards, you have pause, and then you have return to zero. Second thing I like about the Fader Port 8, it has a jog wheel. This jog wheel controls many things. One of the most awesome things that it controls is zoom. Because when I press the button that says zoom on it and I grab my jog wheel, notice how my screen zooms in and it zooms out. Then no matter where I put the cursor, it zooms in on the cursor. This thing becomes an extension of my mouse so I can drop a cursor with my mouse and then I can zoom in and then I can zoom out. The third thing that I like about my Fader Port 8 is that I can turn the click track off and on with the click of a button. No more searching through the pesky channels to see where my click resides. To mute it, I can leave my click channel on and I'm gonna hit play. There's my click. There's not my click. Isn't that cool? The fourth thing that I like about the Fader Port 8 is its very obvious function to control your DAW of choice by moving a fader and having it move the same coinciding fader within your DAW setup. As I move the fader, you can't see it on the screen, but the fader is moving. So now what you can see is as I move the fader on the screen, the fader on the fader port 8 moves also. This is why you see these motorized faders move when I choose channels and I scroll the wheel. They are reflecting whatever volume all the channels are set at. The coolest part about the whole thing is now we can write automation with hardware faders instead of having to do it with our mouse. That was the reason that I bought the Fader Port 8. My right hand would go home like this, not feeling good for the day because I've been grasping a mouse. So now I can actually use the Fader Port 8 to do what I need to that I would have done with a mouse. So check it out. What we're gonna do is select this channel. We're going to hit right, and then we're going to hit play. As the track plays, we're going to move the level down. We're going to move the level up. We're going to move the level down, and we're going to move the level up. We're going to continue moving it like this because when we stop and we choose read, then we're gonna play back and watch our fader move with the moves that we actually made. Recording automation moves. That's the fourth thing I like about the Fader Port 8. The fifth thing that I like about the Fader Port 8. Not only can I mute channels, and solo channels with my hardware buttons, but the best part is now I can clear them with one button. If I have a solo or two or four or six or eight, I don't have to grab my mouse and my hand and press option and click anywhere on a computer screen. I press solo clear, solos go away. If I have mutes that I want to clear, I make them go away also. So what we can do is now mute all of our tracks and I go, you know, that's good and that's pretty cool, but I'm just gonna clear these out. So I hit mute clear. 
So then I go back and mute this track that I had mute. Solo clear, mute, clear, that. It's the fifth thing that I like about the fader porting. Hey guys, thanks for taking a look today at the five things that I like about the PreSonus Fader Port 8. This thing goes way deeper than I can ever even imagine. Go to PreSonus.com to check out all of their cool controllers, their software, their DAWs, and all of their cool hardware and interfaces. Thanks a lot for taking a look. This is Five Things I Like.